Hi, this video is about one way of measuring the distance to stars and galaxies uh, using the parallax method. And there is a, a more detailed video giving the background to parallax in one of my P123 videos. So um, do look at that if you're not sure what parallax is, but I'm going straight into the, the sort of the mathematical aspects of it. So in parallax, you should know that the Earth is our observatory and we can use the fact that the Earth orbits the Sun so that we can then look at a distant star uh, at different times of the year. Now, if I'm here and here, then these, the, the Earth is, is the six months gap between these two positions. So if I look at a distant star here, then when I look at it from this direction, I'm looking in that direction. And when I look at it from this position, I should say, then looking at it like that. So the star appears to move in the sky against the background of what we call the distant stars. These are, these are the way distant stars. So this nearby star will appear to move in the night sky compared to the distant star. Now, if we take a line up from the sun, like that, it's totally drawn, we should have two equal angles here. Now this single angle here is known as the parallax angle. So the parallax angle is half of the total angle subtended here, um, which is also the same as this. This is also the parallax angle here uh, by similar triangles. Now, if I take a, a much more nearby star, if I do a ridiculous drawing of one there, which is clearly not to scale, we can see, I hope, that when you've got a very nearby star, the parallax angle is bigger and then it's smaller when you're further away. So the further away a star gets, the smaller this parallax angle becomes. And we can measure this angle, although it's very small, uh, we can still measure it. And by measuring it, uh, we can work out how far away the star is um, using trigonometry. Um, before we do that, we just have to introduce you to the idea of how we measure small angles. So a small angle to us might be something like one degree, but in one degree in space, that covers quite a large area of sky. So we have to divide one degree into 60 sections. So one degree can be divided into 60 minutes of arc or arc minutes. So we don't do fractions of degrees, we do arc minutes. So in one degree, there are 60 arc minutes. So imagine dividing up one degree into 60 slices. Each one is one arc minute. Each arc minute can also be divided up into 60 arc seconds. So this is the way that we consider uh, angles in space. One degree is made up of 60 arc minutes, and each of those 60 arc minutes is made up of 60 arc seconds. So there are 60 times 60 arc seconds in one degree. So in one degree, we have 60, so equals 60 times 60 equals 3,600 arc seconds. And we need to use this unit of arc seconds uh, in order to consider how we measure distances to stars uh, using parallax. So one unit of distance that we use is uh, as follows. We say that a star is one parsec away if its parallax angle equals one arc second. So what we're saying here is that if the angle here, the parallax angle, is one arc second, which is one three thousand six hundredth of a degree, so one arc sec equals one three thousand six hundred of a degree. If the parallax angle is that much, then the distance away that the star is is called one parsec. Okay. So we introduce the idea of a parsec. 
Um, so mathematically, we do it like this. So the distance of a star in parsecs is 1 over the parallax angle when the parallax angle is measured in arc seconds. So often you are asked to calculate the distance of where a star is if you know its parallax angle and vice versa. So one parsec um, is about the same as one light year approximately. Um, so a parsec is about 3.1 times 10 to the 13 kilometers, um, which is roughly about a light year, because a light year is 9 times 10 to the 12 uh, kilometers. So that's one light year. And so you can see that a parsec is approximately a light year, not exactly, but again, um, <coughs> it's a rough measurement.